to the Springs Radio Real Estate Show. I'm Cheryl Garlock with Colorado Front Range Properties. I'm so glad you could join us today. My very special guest today is Daryl Harrison with Stewart Title. And you know, you guys, I got to tell you right now, you know, title insurance is uh, one of those little areas of the real estate process that is kind of, to the public, is certainly little known. And, and it's an important, important area. And uh, I got to tell you something, when you're doing a real estate transaction here, uh, it's long been assumed that the sellers or the listing agents get to select the title insurance company. And that's just because, frankly, we've just been doing it like that for years, you know. But I want you to consider this. <clears throat> does your car dealer, when you go buy a car, when you go buy a new car, does your dealer tell you which auto insurance company you have to have? No, they don't. You select it. And that's important to you because you want a company that you can count on. It's not just about premiums. It's about a company that can pay for claims, right? And Daryl, isn't that so important? That is very important because that's kind of what we do is yeah. pay claims. Yeah, that's why you have title insurance there. And so if you are a buyer, you, I want you to know you have the right to select your title insurance company. I will admit that the uh, bank-owned properties, they don't exactly like that too much there, but you know they're kind of coming around to uh, face the hard realities of consumer choice. And that's really what we're talking about there. So you need to ask your agent, you know, when you're working with them there, um, well, what about title insurance companies? You know, some of them are boutique and some of them are well-known, long historical standards and uh, money, money, you guys, you want deep pockets. That's the thing, you want deep pockets. So, Daryl, thank you so much again for being on the show. I would like you to tell them, tell everybody exactly what title insurance is and kind of why it's so important to them other than what I've said. Yeah, title insurance is what creates a free market real estate uh, transaction. Um, we have two particular consumers in the transaction, and that's the buyer and the lender if there is a loan on, on the transaction. Right. And basically, we're, we're making sure that there's no claims on that title that the buyer's going to have to deal with at a later date that they're unaware with. Mm -hmm. You know, they can agree to have other claims on their, on their property. That's what you can do. Um, but when they buy it, we're making sure that there's nothing on that title that's going to cause them problems in the future. You know, and this can happen a lot, especially after the, the, uh, the aftermath, you might say, of the last few years that we've had here. Uh, because you, uh, you get, especially also, too, you get a lot of people that refinance, you know, refinance, refinance, or the loan gets sold in the secondary money market, I don't know how many times there. And so it's a really important element to make sure that the title to the property, when you buy it as a buyer, that you have free and clear title except for the new loan that you're putting on it. And, and sometimes these things can have problems, can't they? Oh, absolutely. We deal with problems every day that the consumers don't even actually realize. No, no, no. And if you have people who've gotten divorced or you have somebody who got who passed away, boy, oh boy, you can have a lot of title issues there. So you have to make sure. I know you guys have always heard that somebody said you got to make sure you have clean and clear title. Well, how about this one? I'll tell you what. How about when you have an embezzlement case there and somebody's gone to prison for an embezzlement case situation. I've actually had that happen there and it becomes a lien. I had a $113,000 property one dime and they had a million dollar lien on the property. Well, you try getting that thing satisfied and taken care of through, you know, on your own. Not going to happen. You need a big title company to help you do that. Go ahead. Yeah, liens and encumbrances, they come from so many different areas. You know, when you own property, um, any anything that you do can, can end up being attached to that property. And yeah. as you sell it, um, those those claims don't just go away. Yeah, so um, th so we have these different claims as we're talking about. So we have like judgments that can become a lien on a property. That's a real popular one, don't you think, Daryl? Um, and then you have, of course, the, the first lien, uh, the first deed of trust. You have a second deed of trust. You have a home equity line of credit, which could be the second, possibly a third. Just sort of depends on how it's labeled. Um, and, and a whole multitude of other, then you have other people's just interests, not just liens on the property, but other people's interests, like a, a quick claim deed or which we call a cloud on the title sometimes. Correct. There's many clouds, uh, that, that can 
come on to title. And all that really means is it fogs up your title. You know? <laughs> That's really what it means. It fogs up your title and you've got to get that resolved because you can't necessarily sell it unless you get it resolved. And when you're banking on those bucks, you know, you've got to be able to deliver clean and clear title there. So let me also ask you, tell everyone really quickly, if you would, what's involved in a title search from your 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 experience? Well, we, we go back and look at the tax records of all the recorded documents on any individual piece of property. And then we also uh, search the names of any ownerships that have been in the title because it can be, uh, um, those claims can come through different various sources from from the individuals themselves. Oh, that's a really good point, you guys. I want to clarify what Daryl just said. That means that if you've never owned real estate before, and let's say you have um, uh, you have something on your name record, you know, it's going to show up in the title search because you do a title search by their name, and then the problem is is it will attach to the property, and then that really means that the lender is going to say no go, <clears throat> you're not going to buy it. <clears throat> so you got to get that resolved and solved, and that's how they do it. So it's really important that the buyers review titles, title to a property before they actually close on that, and certainly because the lender is going to do it because they want to be protected. And speaking of protection for the lender, uh, Daryl, the lender always takes first position. That's what it's called uh, in in the in in everyday speak, but it's not really first position because you're, the tax assessor really has first position along with other HOA type situations and other things that are recorded. But as far as a lien is concerned, the, the, the uh, lender is going to want to be in first lien position. You know, that's right. Uh, and you know, the HOA thing is kind of new where they're taking uh, precedence, so to speak. I think, it, um, tell me if I'm right on this one, because I know we just went through some changes on this, but uh, or do they have a right to collect, let's say, on a bank-owned property up to, say, six months' worth of past due HOAs? That is correct. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that that was correct. So that means if the property taxes have not been paid, even though they're not recorded in first position, property taxes are going to go to the county first and foremost, and then any HOA lien that's owing on it up to six months, and then the first mortgage gets paid. Correct. So they're not really first first, but a lot of times people want to know though why uh, why the the interest rate on a second mortgage is higher than a first. Well, it's because it's it's one and two. That's exactly it. There's much more risk to the second lender than there is to the first mortgage company. Accurate. Yeah, yeah that's correct. <laughs> Should I come work for the title company now? Come on over. Yeah, come on over there. So I know that you guys, uh, you're selling insurance, and but so tell us why we close in your offices. Well, in, in Colorado, which is not a national situation, we do close the, the transactions here. One, to make sure that the, the liens are getting paid and uh, released through the closing process. You guys really do want to stay in touch with that and close in a title company's office because papers change immediately right before closing, and that can be an issue there at times there. You know what? We're going to be having property showcase coming right up here in a second, so you guys want to get your pen and paper ready because Daryl and I have got a couple of properties, actually three properties I want to tell you all about, so stay tuned for more from the Springs Radio Real Estate Show. you got a question for Daryl and I, 719-321-7600. Find us at ColoradoSpringsBestHomes.com. We'll be right back.